my name's James Henry and I'm a composer, sound designer, as well as a photographer. My grandfather, who was um, a singer and a songwriter and I grew up with my grandparents and got to travel around with him a bit, you know, get to see what the music business was like and see what life was like, um, you know, on the road, you know, creating music and couldn't help but inspire me to to go on and, and do music myself, but in my own way. Yeah, sometimes I almost feel like it's creating a film clip in reverse. Just be able to play instruments, be able to create sounds, to be able to, I guess, test myself and be able to see you know, how I could you know, do something you know, different to what I've done before, but hopefully you know, different to what other people have done. Yeah, so with the Kathy Freeman documentary, uh, it was quite an honour to I guess, be entrusted to you know, be a, an important part of the telling of a story. Having having that, uh, you know, to, to inspire me and, and direct me, and I think I'd like to see maybe Aboriginal people doing non-specific a Aboriginal roles. Like, you know, of course, you see, uh, you know, Aboriginal people representing. Uh, you know their, their community and, and their culture in, in many ways and, and we're seeing more and more of that you know if there were you know, Aboriginal actors and uh, or, or even even writers and storytellers being able to you know tell stories that are uh, a little bit more uh, universal uh, having said that of course there, there are so many stories to tell that uh, that they haven't been told for so long of uh, the Aboriginal perspective and I think a lot of people are curious about that as well so I can understand why people are, are more drawn to, to telling those stories and, and having that, uh, that Aboriginal perspective heard. 